948 on this Saturday morning. Time now to imagine it. Jamie Pafford is here from the Imagination Station, and it's time to flame on with the Fantastic Four. Just, just the two of us, though. Good morning yeah. to you. Good morning to you. Okay, so what I brought in today is we're going to talk about fireworks, more specifically the colors that fireworks produce. All right. So I have a bunch of different types of um, fireworks that you can see. This is what they look like. They come in all different sizes, shapes, things like that. Um, but the cool thing about them is the, what the inside looks like. Yeah, that is really cool. Now, these are the big ones that you see at those festivals. They actually lower these into the tubes. So this is the projectile. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is the projectile, it's the shell. And what happens is, is you light the first fuse, which is actually this guy right here, travels all the way down, and this is the lift charge. Nice. So this is what is gonna launch it into the air. <laughs> Once it gets at its highest point, that lift charge kind of ignites this one, and this is a timed fuse, and it goes all the way up, hits a second charge, and then all of these start bursting. And these are what are called your stars. Right. And that's what contains our metal salt, our compounds, different things to make them look very pretty up in the sky. So we're gonna kind of take a look at that, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna ignite this right now. You got your protection. I'm good. Your I'm good. Yeah. Light it up. Just Kay. heating it up there. And just heating it up. It should have lit, but it's we're using methyl alcohol, which um, ignites at a very in, nearly invisible flame. Okay, so I do see it. It's lit, but we can't really tell, and that's going to help us see the colors that are produced by different metals and compounds. All right. So my first one that I have here is. Um, Oh, let's see, we'll sprinkle it and see what color we see here. I feel like I'm in potions class for Harry Potter. <laughs> right? <laughs> so this is sodium. So you can kind of see an orangey, kind of yellowish color. There we go. Right? Our next one we'll put in there. Now this one is lithium. And That's lithium. Flu powder. <laughs> there we go, All lithium. Right. That one's a pretty one. That's kind nice. of like a lavenderish color. Now, the reason that they're burning at different colors is because the electrons within the metals are actually absorbing that heat, and it's taking it from a lower level energy to an excited level of energy. Wow. And when it comes back down, it nearly comes back down immediately, and then it emits and produces a specific characteristic to each. So this last one, this one was potassium. Potassium is found in bananas. It's kind of like a light bluish color. There you go. And now my favorite, one of my favorites, is strontium. Strontium is found in road flare, so we want it to be very bright. Oh, boy. So a nice red nice. color. Well, this looks like a special effect. It is. It's really cool. But I want you to feel special. Special right. effect, <laughs> you can feel special. Thank so you. I gave you my two favorites, oh, two of my all favorites. Right, all right, all right. And let's use this one first. Okay. This one is actually copper. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Okay. Just kind of sprinkle it in there. Whoa. It's like that nice, pretty green color. Green very lantern. vibrant. Sticking green with lantern. the theme here. <laughs> Fantastic Four Green Lantern. Now, of course, this one right here. This one's really stop. cool. I don't want to stop. I like the green too much. All right. All right. Let's see this one. This one's pretty sweet. Mm. Go ahead. Right. Now we've got iron. We've got those sparkles and those stars that you see in the sky. Iron is kind of like, um, you know, the sparkler that you light up yeah. as a kid and walk around. Now I got another cool one. This one's magnesium. Okay. Oh, nice. If I can get it to come out little, here. Little poppers. Little ones. Mine are a little bit more I'm just going to add a little, white. Yeah. little extra. I'm you got to help me out. Mine are just too. not working here. Here we go. All right, so <laughs> your grand <laughs> finale. Now all of these elements, when they're in there, they don't burn into one distinct color, right? Your grand finale, it has all different sorts of colors. Right. So as we sprinkle them in there, we have everything. They burn individually, which gives us kind of that nice... Excellent. ...rainbow effect. There. All right. Well, hey, we want to remind everybody, do not try this at home. No, absolutely do not try this at home. That's what we're here for. You can come down to Imagination Station. We actually have our 4th of July science going on right now. So you can see a really cool um, new combustion demonstration that kind of focuses on the science of 4th of July. All right, it blowed up good. Thanks very much, Jamie. <laughs> we appreciate it. That is this week's Imagine It. We're going to turn it now over to Dave with sports.